Hey Chris, delighted to have Alvin Crawford with us here today. One of the few times, Alvin, that I need to stand on a box to make me <laughs> as high as someone who is in here with us today. But he is in a wonderful production that starts at the Blumenthal today and is Porgy and Bess. I mean, one of the most beloved Broadway plays ever, of course, is Gershwin's. Mm -hmm. And the music and all is wonderful. And this, you were saying, Alvin, how old this play is almost? It's today? almost 80 years old. Oh, yeah, my there have been many different versions, but our version, which which was done by Diane Paulus and won the 2012 Tony for Best Musical on Broadway. How would you describe what Porgy and Bess is all about? Uh, Porgy and Bess is just a classic American love story mm -hmm. where uh, Porgy, who is a cripper yes. and a beggar, falls in love with a beautiful woman named Bess who happens to be crowned girlfriend. <laughs> uh, and you play Crown. And I play Crown, who is maybe not the nicest no, person in the world. No, he's not the world. nicest person. <laughs> in fact, he's downright me, I guess you could say. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what happens is the action takes place on a Saturday night where everyone's playing craps, and a big event happens causing everybody to flee, and Crown says he's got to go, and leaves Bess, and no one will take Bess in, and except for the cripple, Porgy. And during that time, they fall in love. Love. But then Crown comes back and drama ensues. Drama does <laughs> ensue, and it is. And what what do you enjoy most about this? The acting part of it, the musical part of it? What, where do you derive your greatest satisfaction? Oh, I love it all. I think um, Du Bois Haywood, who wrote the original book, and Ira Gershwin, who wrote a lot of the lyrics, have combined this and made this beautiful story. Uh, the music is iconic, yes, Summertime, very, yes. oh. which is one of the most recording songs in history and uh, I think it's been recorded over 30,000 times. I Love You Porgy and all this great stuff. There's a boat that's coming soon for New York. It's great music. Oh, it, it really truly is and this is a pretty substantial production, is it not? Yeah, yeah. This is the first national tour that um, like I said earlier, won the Tony Award for Best Musical <laughs> a revival and when people come they're just going to see the best of, of a, an American classic. Right, and you're going to see a great actor here too, and Alvin. And I just want to mention we were talking earlier. He's yeah, has a part in a, a movie with uh, Michael Douglas and Diane Keaton. Tell us yeah, a little bit about that. A small part in a movie called And So It Goes, which is going to be released at the end of the month. And uh, I play a paramedic that comes in and helps to deliver a baby. Oh, wow, yeah. this is going to be that's going to be wonderful too. And Porgy and Bess, this is the last week of the touring production, of the tours. right? Tours, yeah. yeah so, so we've been on tour for nine months, and um, we're so happy to be here in Charlotte. And uh, we, as most people know, it's been a really hard winter. Yes. So it's lovely to be in a warm climate. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. It may be a little too warm. Our yesterday was too warm. Yeah. We're going to get a little cooler, though, Alvin. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that right now. But I would imagine just incredible energy as you wrap up the last week of production mm -hmm. here and uh, Al we're just delighted to have you here in Charlotte thank you so much for being with us today thanks for having and, me and uh, break a leg thank as you. they say and we're looking forward to it it is truly one of the greatest most wonderful stories you'll ever mm -hmm. see I know a lot of people are going to be there Charlotte audiences are pretty good uh, awesome right. thanks Alan so much all right stay with us there's more to come on WBT